So far, we've looked at manipulating clip-based gain in a static kind of way. That is to say, this one line represents the clip-based gain for the entire clip, and we move it, and this one line affects the overall gain. But we can actually manipulate the clip-based gain in a more dynamic kind of way. What is dynamic clip gain? Well, dynamic clip gain essentially is adding breakpoints to the clip gain volume line. We can do that by selecting the grabber tool or while using the smart tool, hold down the command key. And here we can add breakpoints. We can create very sophisticated clip gain envelopes using these breakpoints. Option clicking a breakpoint will delete it. We can also delete the entire range of clip gain by selecting all of the clip gain breakpoints right-clicking the clip, selecting clip gain, and clear clip gain. We can also use the pencil tool and the various line tools to draw in the clip gain data. Using the freehand tool, the line tool, triangle, square, random. Now the only line tools that we can't use are the parabolic tool and the S-curve tool. We can bypass clip gain data by right-clicking on the clip, selecting clip gain, bypass clip gain. Now that'll bypass the clip gain data, but it'll still leave the clip gain volume points within the clip, but the actual clip gain volume will be bypassed. And to re-enable it, just right click, go to clip gain, unbypass clip gain. You can also copy the clip gain data and apply that to another clip as well. Right click on the clip, go to clip gain, select copy clip gain, Go to the clip that you want to apply the clip gain data to and press command V on your computer keyboard or go to edit and paste clip gain. We'll now paste all of that copy clip gain onto the new clip. Let's just undo. Now we can also render the clip gain. Rendering the clip gain applies the current clip gain settings to a new clip and sets the clip gain settings for the new clip at 0 dB. Since lower versions of Pro Tools cannot read clip gain data information, you would need to render that clip data back into the file so that it remains in the file and that clip gain data isn't lost. However, it will be permanently written into the file. To render the clip gain, right click on the clip, select clip gain, render clip gain. Let's undo. Now right clicking the fader icon will also give you a list of options as well. Let's take a look at the way crossfades and clip gain lines interact with each other. Here I have two separate clips, each with a different clip gain value. Now if I apply a crossfade across these two clips, the clip gain line for the first clip carries through the fade out of one segment of the crossfade, and the clip gain line for the second clip carries through the fade in the segment of the crossfade. So let's undo, and this is the way the crossfades looked before the fade. And let's redo the crossfade. And that's how they look within the crossfade. Clip gain is all pre-mixer, pre-fader, and is applied before any plugin processing. So let's load up a plugin. We'll load up the channel strip. Let's clear this clip data, right click, clear clip gain. And now we're playing this clip. Now as I raise it, look at the input of the channel strip. And if I lower it, the input lowers as well. So all of this clip gain processing happens before the plug-in, before the fader, before the mixer. And whatever you do here will affect the way the plugins process the audio signal.